Bitcoin bulls and bears are currently at war. The last two weeks price action has little to do with Bitcoin's technicals and a lot more to do with the events that are out of our control, unfortunately. Last week, it was about the CPI numbers that sent the market in a frenzy. And this week, it's been all about the possibility of Russia invading Ukraine. This, of course, has brought a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt into the markets. So much so that even gold has moved up for the first time since 2020's pandemic run. So even the little gerbil Peter Schiff has popped out his head acting like gold is outperforming Bitcoin. <laughs> He says gold is the future and that the last 10 years are irrelevant. <laughs> sure, Peter, whatever you say, buddy. I'm sure Wayne Huizenga and Blockbuster said the same thing about Netflix. Anyways, in today's video, we will be taking a look at the Bitcoin charts and looking for some supports in the event that an invasion actually happens over in Russia within Ukraine. And of course, looking for some resistances in the event that they come to a peaceful resolution. So yeah, guys, we're basically flipping a coin to see what happens this weekend. Uh-oh. So starting at the monthly time frame, you can see not much has really changed here. Um, we've kind of lost this support right here, but we're still in the green and we still have the ability. We still have about two weeks left in the month to still get above it and close above it. So not too much has changed here. Let's drop down to the weekly. On the weekly chart, you can see where we kind of currently are right here. This is basically the middle of nowhere. Although we do have the support here at $40,000, the next main support here, if we continue dropping, is down here. That's basically down around the $37,000 area. You could also see that we've bounced before here at that 40K range. So that's currently where we're sitting. And now there's really no way to know what's going to happen next because right now the price action is based off of what happens with Russia and Ukraine. So because of that, technicals here really don't matter too much. So if over the weekend things go bad, there's an invasion, then we can expect prices to drop maybe down to 38. And the bottom of it, I would say would be uh, this Fibonacci level right here. If it went really, really bad, then we can start considering a break of that support there, which is the same support that held us up last time and possibly falling back Back down to this support now the thing with this support this is that 30,000 level if we look at where the majority of the buy orders are right now you will see that there's really no huge buy walls until about thirty thousand dollars and thirty thousand dollars is exactly where this next Fibonacci level is sitting at if we were to lose this so there's a lot of people looking and waiting to buy down here at thirty thousand dollars if in worst case scenario, there was a, t a really big drop like that. That's where I, I would expect the bottom. But again, that's really far off and we'd have to reevaluate once we got to that point. Right now, we're more focused on the present, which is that $40,000 level and the next support levels, which is going to be sitting around 38 and 36. Now, if we do get a peaceful resolution, we should expect prices to bounce back to the upside. In that scenario, I'm expecting Bitcoin to come right back up here, which is right around that 44 to $45,000 area and possibly continue the falling wedge breakout that we started on a couple weeks ago. Remember, we had this falling wedge pattern right here where we broke out to the upside. Last time we had this happen, we went all the way up and set up new all time highs. Of course, it didn't happen without a pullback first, but also at that time, we didn't have a possible war about to happen. So I definitely believe if we didn't have this war happening, Bitcoin would have been already through 45,000, probably 
closer to 50,000 at this point. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. And because of uh, the things going on right now, it's of course suppressing the prices of not just Bitcoin, but of the overall market. And let's not forget guys, uh, inflation is still here. There's still the Fed raising rates, which I think have been priced in already, but just a lot of things going on that's affecting the prices right now. So for those of you who are looking to trade the possible drop or rise in Bitcoin, let's go ahead and look over some trade setups. But before I show you guys these trade setups, make sure to smash that subscribe button. If you guys want to make money through trading, crypto passive income, NFTs, or maybe you just want to stay up to date with the latest money making trends in crypto. I upload a video almost every single day about these topics. So please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto. In addition to that, I answer every single question and DM that I get on Instagram and I answer every single comment that I get on my YouTube channel. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to DM me or leave it in the comments. By the way, guys, I have a free Discord channel for the community that you can join with like-minded individuals to talk about crypto, trading, passive income, and NFTs. The link is in the description below. All right, guys, so taking a look here at the daily time frame, you can see that things look ugly. So right now, there's really two levels that I'm watching that I'm going to possibly play, but it's just, it depends on so many things, right? So the first level in the event that we get a peaceful resolution, I'm looking to enter back above 42,000. So above 42,000 will be a break back above this trend line. And of course it's a break above 42,000, which has been a big level. You can see what happened last time we broke above it here. So that's the only level that I'm looking to play for the long entries. So now in the event that we get bad news and that an invasion actually happens there's two ways to play it the first level is 40,000 below 40,000 as you guys can see we've already gone as low as 39,400 but the bulls are trying to protect that level they're they're sitting there buying it up buying it up buying it up so that is a level that you can play but you have to play it with an aggressive trail stop you have to take profits quickly because it's going to continue just this up and down up and down within that same level but the trend is looking like it's going to keep pushing down unless we get some type of good news so 40,000 is definitely a level that i like to enter a short trade at as long as it continues to respect this trend as long as there's no peaceful resolution i think that something like this could most definitely happen here just a slow grind down and at any point you know the bottom could fall off and it just drop all the way down to that 38 to 36 thousand dollar levels so now these are all very high risk i would say that the entry above 42,000 is less risky you could probably risk around two to three percent on that entry but on the forty thousand dollar entry because there's just so much going on it's very high risk you have to be careful with that entry maybe set up a stop loss around the high right here so that's around 40,500 so maybe above that you want to get out of the trade and basically you'd be looking to ride this down as far as possible on that one I'd still be looking to risk 1% or even less now if you guys want to know exactly what trades I'm taking what levels I'm looking at in real time every single day, you need to get into my mentorship trading program. In this group, I share every single trade that I take with my complete trading plan. Entries, stop loss, take profit, all of it. I teach you how to trade the right way, how to use leverage, how to trade with the right position size, using the right amount of risk so that you never have to worry about blowing up your account again. In addition to that, I also post crypto passive income opportunities, NFT projects, and much, much more. Now, there are limited spots to get into this program because so many people want to get in, but I could only work with so many at once. So if you guys are interested, go to the link in the description below. I'm telling you guys, crypto is a once in a generation opportunity to make money. And the opportunities that we have right now will not last forever. So please, if you guys are interested, sign up in the link in the description. If not, watch the next two videos that I'm about to put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks that you should watch next.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.